Definitive projection of European and UK virus progress and outcome breaking. While the UK government has been releasing information guaranteed to scare and alarm, such as projecting 530,000 UK deaths, we've been focused on analysing real data and getting it in front of people. We've reached the pinnacle of that with the progress of the virus projected not by erroneous and abused R0 models, but by the virus itself. I say erroneous and abused because the Imperial College COVID-19 response team and the UK Chief Medical Examiner used the R0 model to exaggerate the estimated deaths by 38 times. It exaggerated the worst actual world region, Hubei, by 131 times, but as it turns out, we're currently headed past Hubei in terms of cases per million. Many have attempted to claim China lied, but all countries have been tracking similarly to China and Hubei, and we are still below Hubei levels. Many countries will remain below Hubei levels if their charts continue, just not the leading European nations or likely the American nations. We have previously released charts similar to the following, but the projection has always relied on our estimate of the final trajectory. Today we decided to let the virus determine the final trajectory from its progress to date. No human estimate is involved. The virus may change trajectory, we don't control the virus, but this is a rational method that allows the virus to speak for itself. Here is today's chart using daily data up to the 28th of March. I'll put it full screen and let you consider it for a few moments, or pause the video and take a screenshot. Having the cases, we can always work out the new cases per day, but you may appreciate why I haven't shared them before. The wobbly lines are the actual data as reported in World Health Organization daily situation reports. We use daily data and apply a three-day trailing average to smooth the data slightly. The very smooth parts of the line at peak and down are the virus projections. Note one thing in particular, this kills the China lied meme so popular in social media. All of the European actual data and projected data sit in the China Hubei range. Even the peak projected data for UK and Germany doesn't significantly exceed Hubei. Going back to the cumulative curves totals to date, let's examine how we do the projection. If you've watched other videos, you'll know that it's the curvature which on a log scale tells us the virus is slowing down. That gives us a high degree of confidence that we can track the path and that contagion will continue, but the crisis and uncertainty is over. Previously, I used the Mark 1 eyeball to decide what seemed reasonable and as long as the curve progressed smoothly, I believe the point was made. Curl over means we don't need to implement draconian measures. We're already on the way out of the crisis. Ideally though, we should be able to get the curve to tell us itself how it's evolving. As it turns out, that was pretty straightforward. You don't need to understand it, but please do understand the important fact. We're no longer estimating ourselves. The virus is telling us what it's doing. Feel free to let your eyes glaze over, but for those of you comfortable with arithmetic and spreadsheets, we just want you to notice one thing. The average change factors in the right-hand column are extremely consistent. The change in virus progression is steady. That should be obvious from the smooth curves in the chart, which are a clue that we can use the charts to anticipate the progression of the virus. Before, we selected a change in growth factor by hand and got reasonable results. Now we can work out an accurate one from the data giving us an even higher degree of confidence in the future path of the virus. If I tell you I think it's going to do this, that's my estimate. If the virus slows down by e.g. 5% of its growth rate every day, and does so consistently, we're not guesstimating, we're simply projecting that behaviour forward. That's why I refer to this as a definitive projection for the future path of the virus, rather than an estimate, such as the exceedingly damaging estimate of 530,000 deaths in the UK, which was irresponsible in the extreme. Very quickly, how is this going to work? We're going to say that if each day there are 2.9, 2.8, 2.7 times as many new cases, 
then we'll keep that progression going 2.6 2.5 2.4 that's a simple one subtracting 0 0.1 each day in practice it's a percentage drop and those who put their faith in models might care to take note this is real this is what the virus is actually doing not what you're telling us it might do all you have to note in the image is the consistency of the numbers in the right hand column around 99.3 percent that means the virus is losing 0.7 percent of its growth rate every day it may still be two point or well, sorry two times the cases today but tomorrow it will be 1.986 times new cases it's slowing down what's extraordinary about this step is that in taking my opinion out of the estimate there is no human opinion. It is just a picture of what the virus has been doing and is likely to continue to do. The consistency of the numbers and the smoothness of the curves and the curvature all give us an assurance that if we simply apply what it has consistently done up till now, then we have a map of what it will consistently do in the future. It's not living, it's reliable. This leads us to the most extraordinary result of all, Yes, the path may change, but that will be reflected in the numbers, and we'll see then what it does. But each day now, we have a projected path for the virus. Not a model with R0 and 510,000 deaths, both 530,000 and 510,000 were used. That is utterly outrageous and should see charges for incitement of terror. Just a trajectory of what it has done, telling us what it's likely to have done. We've already repeatedly stated the likely figures for UK deaths based on a Hubei level contagion. We could back those up with the curl over of Italy showing this was going to be over soon. What changes today is that we no longer need to rely on Hubei, much no doubt to the chagrin of those who like to decry our work because we trust China. As it happens, China has proven to be far more trustworthy than a UK government that projects it will be 8,000 degrees outside stay indoors. That's exaggerating 131 times versus Hubei. But it no longer matters because we're no longer comparing against Hubei. As from today we need only observe the virus and project its future path from its current trajectory. It's a simple but profound step. We're not trusting a flawed model R0 or one that's been abused. We're not trusting China but thank you for your excellent data. We're trusting the virus and the World Health Organization daily situation reports. That's it. And in fact, it's so simple, we'd ask why the government has not set up a department to show us similar graphics to ours, similar estimates, all to keep us informed. Perhaps scared is more convenient. Not for us. But here it is, a snapshot of the future paths of the Italy, Germany, Norway and UK virus experience. You no longer need to scavenge for hoped-for estimates of a peak in the next few weeks. We, or the virus, give you a date. You no longer need to rely on terror-inducing estimates from the government for estimated deaths. We tell you exactly what the virus has in mind, unless its trajectory changes. We give you dates for when new cases will likely drop below 1000 NNCPD, which we'll explain in a moment, below 100 NNCPD, below 10, and finally to zero. Ask the virus. It's telling us. And my apologies, NNCPD is new deaths per day, new, sorry, new cases per day, adjusted for 100 million population. Will it courteously stay exactly on trajectory to make these numbers exact? Unlikely. And unlikely that humans will either, especially with the lockdown. But take a look at the likely deaths in the UK. 13,799. Higher than we'd have liked, Hubei would have been 3451, twice Hubei, which we realised was likely 6900, but not 530,000. I really cannot express my disgust for a figure so irresponsible that it cannot have been created by a scientist or analyst, which means it was created by someone to scare you. But no matter, as of this moment the virus will tell you what it has in mind by its behaviour, We'll track it and publish it daily, though whether it's a video or not, I don't know. And yes, in theory, this would apply to every country. And no, I haven't yet done it for the US and Canada. There's an issue you haven't curled over yet. That may be a problem. However, 
I shall work the numbers and maybe there is already a reasonable and consistent progression we can work with. More and on as we manage to do that. For the moment I'm going to leave the table full screen for 10 seconds so you can take a snapshot of today's figures and then we'll close out. Thank you for listening or watching. I'm Andrew Mather, a 60-year-old Brit, mathematician, financier, technologist, husband, biker, pilot, healer, whatever. A bunch of stuff. Take care. Feel free to get in touch. Andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrew at amather.com. Either should get to me.